Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, also called CBT, is a popular counseling model that emphasizes session structure and collaboration with a focus on cognitive restructuring. The client for this session is Juan, and please pause the video to review his story. This session represents the sixth meeting between the therapist and Juan and provides a run-through of key elements of the CBT process. A brief check-in, mood check, bridge from the previous session, setting an agenda, the session itself, and a final summary and feedback. The session will also emphasize the use of CBT concepts, empowerment of the client, and three coping skills. Well, Juan, thank you for coming in today. Uh, it's really good to see you. And uh, I want to just kind of check in with you and see how things are going with you right now. Okay. Sounds good. You want to just kind of let me know what's going on with the little check-in here? Uh, well, um, just um, it's going good. Uh, I work today, full day, busy day, as always. Um, uh, just had a, had a pretty good weekend. Okay. So I uh, got to go on, on that trip that I told you about. So that was pretty good. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's do, um, before we kind of go into that any further, let's kind of do a mood check here. Okay. Uh, let's check your sadness scale, uh, scale of 1 to 10. Sadness, uh, 1 would be no sadness whatsoever, and 10 would be the most sad you have ever, ever felt before. Where do you think you'd be right now? Three. Okay. Maybe two. Okay, wow. Okay, yeah. it sounds like your sadness is l level is kind of low right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't feel too sad. Okay, um, now let's go over your joy scale. Uh, one is absolutely no joy, and ten would be the most joyous you've ever <laughs> felt. Um, where, where do you think you'd be on a joy scale right now? Um, how about a six or a seven? Okay, six yeah. or a seven. All right, and uh, so you think, uh, if, if what do you think a, uh, an eight would feel like? What do you think, you know? What would it would kind of ha have to happen for that to to be in place right now? Well, I mean, just uh, everything would have to go right. Somebody, my my bills would be paid. Uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, <laughs> things are going pretty good right now. Okay. So uh, okay. I, I'm. It's kind of hard to explain what would that look like because um, you know, I'm you know kind of content with things right now. Okay. Okay. So yeah. it looks like you're in a, in a good place and yeah, enjoyable I think so. place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, the last uh, piece here is unlovability. On a scale of mm. 1 to 10, 1 is um, no unlovability whatsoever, and 10 is the most unlovable you've ever felt. Remember, this is kind of an issue that brought us in, brought you into therapy here. And uh, what, uh, where would you be right now on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, about a 5. Okay. About a 5, yeah. Okay. okay. So it looks like there's there may be some pros or cons, you know, so some positives, some negatives there. Yeah, I think there is. Um, you know, I kind of want to say that I, I made some progress in that area, but at the same time, uh, I I feel like there's still some things there, maybe, yeah, that I'm still trying to sort through. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Uh, well, it's definitely something we'll continue to talk about then. Okay, so um, as we think about our previous session, we spent a lot of time really talking about this trip, you know, mm -hmm. for your honeymoon in Monterey. That's right. That's right. I think it was 2004, and uh, you went to this big honeymoon there, and, and this is, uh, you went back this weekend, same place, and um, so a lot of it was what's going to happen if, you know, certain things mm -hmm. happen with Michelle or certain things happen with you. Yeah. And, uh, and we really kind of went through that, and so now, uh, it's time to kind of set an agenda for today's session. You know, what do we want to accomplish, you know, based on some of the things that, that we've um, talked about before? Um, well, I, I think I would like to talk about the weekend. Okay. Um, it's uh, something that we've been talking about for some time I've been mentioning. So I think I want to process uh, the weekend in terms of some of the highlights, maybe some of the challenges that we had or, okay. or I think we had. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a good place to start is to just talk about some things that uh, maybe, you know, that I haven't really processed. Okay, okay, okay. All right, excellent. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is that we'll make that, you know, our agenda item for, for the day. Okay. And, uh, and so why don't you just um, just kind of think about this past weekend, since that's, that's uh, kind of front and center. 
and, uh, and let's kind of, kind of talk about that right now. As Juan discusses the agenda item, he will use some of the concepts of the CBT model that he learned in therapy as he recounts his progress since the last session. This is an important part of empowering Juan to take charge of his symptom reduction and improve his self-esteem. Listen for three coping skills that he utilized during a challenging situation. Keep in mind that in a typical full-length CBT session, there may be more than one agenda item. Well, um... I mean, it was a beautiful weekend. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's always lovely there. Even if when the sun's not shining, it's still a beautiful place. So, I mean, I think, you know, we definitely had a good start and we left early. We got there, you know, on good timing and uh, we checked in and got to uh, go to the aquarium, you know, the first night there and um, we did some shopping and came back, got some rest and and then, uh, you know, we got ready for dinner and, mm -hmm. you know, and just, it was just an exciting time, mm -hmm. exciting day. I mean, we were really looking forward to it. We're actually having fun, laughing, mm -hmm. and uh, I was kind of surprised. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it just seems every time we go there, it's just, uh, we kind of remember this is where it all began for us in many ways. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's exactly. a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. um, but there was one incident, you know, I mean, there's this restaurant that we go to. It's right there off the pier. It's a very beautiful location. There's mm -hmm. seals all the time. And, mm -hmm. um various marine life and, and, and it's a beautiful place and uh, we like to go there but there was an incident where I noticed that um, all of a sudden we were talking and uh, my wife just kind of got quiet okay. just for like no reason mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, um, and so, it was kind of confusing. <laughs> so Michelle uh, you know things were going along fine yeah, and everything just, and all of a sudden you know there's this shift, this kind of dramatic shift. And I want to kind of check in with you at that time. You know something's going on. I want to yeah. check in what, what was happening with you as that this change was kind of going on with Michelle. What was happening with you? Well, um, I got a little angry, a little disappointed. I mean, it really bothered me because I don't like sudden changes mm -hmm. like that, you know, particularly exactly. when, you know, we make plans for this wonderful weekend. Uh, you know, we have a lot of invested in it, you know, obviously financially, and you know, we don't have a lot of money. So I feel like in some ways she was kind of ruining the night. She was being kind of selfish. Wow. And, mm -hmm. and, um, and I had no idea why. You know, again, it was just all of a sudden, and it was kind of like freaky, you know, but, but at the same time, you know, it did, it did anger me. You know, I didn't say anything to her, but um, I don't know what all that was about, to be honest. Um, and so what were you, kind of what's going on inside of it? It sounds like you were getting angry and... Uh... Yeah, you know, I just, I know I was getting angry, obviously, because, you know, I was feeling tension on my shoulders, particularly this area. Um, you know, my, my jaw gets a little tense and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and my breathing was being somewhat restricted, you know, mm -hmm. so I noticed that about myself. I learned about that since, you know, since I've been here with you about what are some of my, um, uh, some of the things that make me aware that I'm getting angry. However, um, so yeah, as that was happening, uh, I, I, I wanted to say something, you know, and obviously it was going to come out negative, which is basically typical, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I feel that she was being unfair. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I, I just I was just trying really hard to try to change uh, my reaction mm -hmm. or what I was mm -hmm. typically used to doing. Sure. Right? So, sure. And let me ask, what were you thinking during this time? I mean, you got to get, well, get sense of your body sensations and everything. What was what was going through your head at these times? Well, um, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to basically yell, but 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 what I realized that has obviously been working in the past. Uh, you know, just being you know um, very reactive. So I was trying to um, just kind of uh, take a break from the situation. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, something I've learned that works for me particularly is that I think of like let's say of a pleasant uh, environment or you know the pleasant imagery and sure enough I mean mm -hmm. uh, what I started doing was looking at the seals just looking at the beach and okay. and the so, sand and mm -hmm. you know and, um, and and I think that was helping me I think mm -hmm. it really did help me to not focus too much on say what was happening with her and how I was feeling about that. Mm -hmm. I also uh, try to do uh, uh, backwards counting where okay. Okay. You know, I count from 20 all the way to 1 mm -hmm. and as I'm counting I notice that my, my, my tension, my stress and my anger starts to decrease and by the time I, I, I come to 1 I, I feel, uh, uh, how would you say, uh, um, more in control about you know mm -hmm. what's happening with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean Breathing was another thing that mm -hmm. I tried to do, but mm -hmm. 
you know, I, I mean, I was doing this, you know, obviously, like, you know, without her being aware as to what was uh -huh. going on. Uh -huh. Of course, I didn't tell her. But I realized I have to do those things to, to, um, to help me not to say, again, be so reactive and exactly. so angry. So it might have been a challenge for you to go through this process in yourself, but it, it may have also kept you from doing something that you might have even regretted later. Yeah, I mean, in the past, I mean, I would have said something just mm -hmm. out of the blue, but you know, out of anger, and sure enough, uh, she would have got upset, and she would have reacted, and I would have reacted, and sure enough, there goes the whole weekend mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. want that to happen, so I just kind of had to bite my tongue in a sense, right, right? Mm -hmm. and really... Um, try to think more about her as well, not mm -hmm. just about myself, because I think I, I realize I've been a very selfish person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, it kind of had to kind of kind of walk in her shoes a little bit and show some empathy for what she might be going through. Yeah, you um, know. Even and though you might not have quite understood it at the time. No, I didn't understand it, uh, but um, you know, I, I realize that it's, it's not just about me mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, um, I made some bad choices in the past, so mm -hmm. I know that I have to put some effort into this to make it work. Yeah. So that was one of those things where, you know, it surprised me that I was able to do all those things that mm -hmm. we talked about here in session, um, you know, as far as interventions, but mm -hmm. uh, I find that those three things tend to work best for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you were able to, you were able to kind of challenge yourself during a kind of a crucial moment. So that's just yeah. awesome. That's just I, wow, I mean, it's yeah. just great because you were, you kind of went down a path, and you could have gone down one path. You really went down another. So it's just, it's just awesome that you were able to. Yeah, do and that. actually, I think that's a pretty big um, growth um, area for me because in the past, again, I, I wouldn't even think about it. I could care less. I mm -hmm. mean, as soon as I got angry, at a split second, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I would just fly off the handle. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm trying not to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. So. Well, you had your, your opportunity, it, it came, and so let's move on beyond that moment. Like I said, wow, outstanding. Yeah. And, you know, Michelle was quiet, you know, she was, you know, kind of getting to a place where it was hard to kind of communicate with her. And what happened next? Well, I noticed um, as we're sitting there, for you know, and, and things are still, say, um, you know, just very quiet, mm -hmm. um, she came out of it, you know. Um, it seemed like about it took about 15 minutes or so. Okay. You know, I was okay. just trying to be, you know, patient with her and just asking her if she needed anything, and I just try to give her some space. Okay. That's kind okay. of what I was trying to do, mm -hmm. and at the mm -hmm. same time, again, just kind of wait and see what happens. And sure enough, um, she just all of a sudden came out of it. Okay. Okay. Did it was it a moment that kind of um, kind of made you look towards the rest of the weekend? Did it to kind of push the rest of the week, rest of the weekend in a certain way or? Yeah, I actually think that mm. if things got even, say, um, better, I mean, if that was even possible, because things were great before, but I just think that we were just, you know, kind of like what it, what it was before, you know, the, um, you know, the incident, you know, mm -hmm. I just feel like, you know, we were like, uh, uh, you know, two years into our marriage kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. um, talking, communicating, having fun, and mm -hmm. laughing, and just, just enjoying ourselves, you mm -hmm. know, so it was a really great... Um, weekend and I just I'm just so like just grateful that I didn't respond or react mm -hmm. it because I could have really just messed up everything yeah and you mentioned briefly you said that word the incident you know yeah. and that's one of the the things that has made it a struggle for you a struggle for Michelle mm -hmm. and I wonder if that um, you know feelings about the incidents about the unfaithfulness uh, you know the marriage and that, that, that she brought that to your attention or if that became yeah. a that became an Ivan in, in the weekend <laughs> anyway or? No, it didn't. So I, I had a possibility. One of the reasons why she may have felt that way or got very quiet was the, the was the affair. You know, so that's okay. one of the reasons why I probably didn't want to ask her. You okay. Know, so. Now that I think about it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and 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 I kind of wanted to again just just not even say create a, a possibility of even that coming up. You know, mm -hmm, while we were mm -hmm. there, because you know I, I want to move on too. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I know, but um, but yeah. Um, it didn't come up. Mm -hmm. We didn't talk about it. Um, but I wonder, I suspect at that moment that's mm -hmm. what happened, you know, mm -hmm. because it was very odd, very different. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It was unlike her, mm -hmm. you know, just to get very quiet like that all okay. of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, well, it, it uh, a lot happened. Yeah. And it's something that might come up in the future as well. So I think we definitely have some, some still things to, to talk about, to think about, you yeah. know, because um, it sounds like there may be some, some issues still unresolved with her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if that's the case, uh, you know, with you as well. Uh, but for now, we're, we're kind of at a point where we're, we're almost out of time. 
And so what I'd like to do is to kind of take this time and, and to kind of have you uh, for some of some sum, uh, summarize what we talked about here, maybe a little bit of feedback about how the session went for you today. Well, again, I wanted to talk about the weekend because I, I felt that it was kind of important to process that incident. So I think just talking about that, I think I'm realizing how, again, how real, how big that weekend really was mm -hmm. for us, and I think mm -hmm. how it's moving us, say, um, closer, you know, and also, you know, in pursuing our goals. And I think, you know, we've become more intimate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a result of the weekend. So, and I'm really seeing, yeah, how big that really was for me in terms of, say, um, uh, of not being so reactive or mm -hmm. impulsive, mm -hmm. you know, in these situations. So, well, great. It it sounds like where you landed when you with that summary when you talked about it, is that a big part was how important the weekend was to you. Yeah. You know, and that was a so maybe a sigh of relief that we got through that, and and there were some challenging moments there. We got through that. Mm -hmm. So my thought is um, uh, maybe throughout this week we kind of think about what you know how significant the week was for you. Maybe some things you talked about. So maybe some things that. That, that worked, maybe some things that didn't work, but also what, um, how we can take what happened on the weekend, take that into the future, the future of, you know, your marriage, the future of, you know, your, you know, the depression that you brought in initially yeah. for our treatment. Mm -hmm. um, so those might be some things you want to think about, and we will, uh, we'll definitely bring that up in the next session, okay? Sounds good, Scott. Um, all right, one. good to see you again. I'll see you again next Thank week. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Now that the session has ended, consider the following. Your thoughts and feelings about the session. Cultural factors that may be relevant in therapy and in Juan's relationship with his wife, Michelle. Recommendations for the future, which may include continued therapy for Juan, medication, couples, or family therapy. Structure of the CBT session itself. And other issues that you may consider.